Hello everyone, I'm Riggy Rob, and welcome to the first part of my Firewatch playthrough. Uh, so I'm not going to lie, I had a pretty stressful day today, and I didn't really fancy playing a really hectic game like uh, Splatoon 2, and I didn't really fancy playing a really stressful game like Darkest Dungeon either, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to take it nice and easy today, and I'm just going to play a nice, relaxing game uh, called Firewatch. So that's what we're going to do, press X to start. Uh, we've got Emerald Heart here. Hello, Emerald Heart. Thanks for joining the stream so early. Uh, ooh, we've got special features. Let's have a look at the settings first. Uh, master volume is fine, I think. Subtitles, yes. Thank you. Uh, auto save, location of map. Yep, those all look good. And the brightness seems fine. Controls, ooh. Okay. Choose dialogue. Interesting. I don't actually know a lot about Firewatch. I just know it's been described as a walking simulator. But it seems to me that it's got quite a few things going on with it. Map, camera, compass. Yeah. Alright. Cool. And we'll just have a sneak peek at the special features. Let's have a look. An audio tour. And then you have to complete Firewatch to unlock Free Roam. Oh, that'd be that'd be really cool actually. Free roam over the mountainside. Yeah, I might I might come back to this after I finished it. But anyway, let's start a new game. Uh, Remus is here. Yep, we're playing Firewatch today, Remus. Nice, relaxing game. The stream is a lie. <laughs> Candy Lover says, oh my god, I love this game. And subtitles, yes please. Yep, I always put subtitles on when I'm streaming a game, just in case I talk over it too much. Campo Santo presents Firewatch. In cooperation with Panic Incorporated. Panic at the Disco. Uh, Remus says, I like this game. I'm glad you did. We're in Boulder, Colorado in 1975. So apparently this takes inspiration from a real-life event in America about forest fires in Yellowstone Park. You see Julia. Does Julia see you? Do I need to press a button? I do. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. <laughs> so, what's your, you know, major? Or you, you're pretty. What would a drunk person say? You're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. So we should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, we've got Candy Love saying this, the goat is a lie, and Emerald Heart saying not the glitches. Does this game have glitches? I'm not actually too sure. Uh, let's have a look. Hey, we can see our feet. That's nice. Uh, R2 to use objects. Backpack. Yep, yeah, I'll have that. And then I guess I need to press one of the buttons. No? Okay. So one of the things that I like about this game is the art style is very painterly. All the wallpapers you see of Firewatch. Chuck door, get in. Shove your backpack in the back. And off we go. Uh, <laughs> Emerald Heart says I've got doggos in the car, and Remus says I don't remember any glitches. That's good, that's good. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Oh no, she wants to get two cats called Coder and Kino. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Uh, you pick the beagle and she names him Bucket, or you adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Oh, those are both 
See, I like beagles. Uh, in fact, we saw a little baby puppy beagle a while back, and it was very cute. But a shepherd called Mayhem. Oh, which one do I go for? I think I'm going to go for Mayhem. Yeah. Uh, Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. 1979. Four years later. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30pm and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Ooh. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. Uh, that would be pretty good. Or one day, why rush? Hmm. A couple of little idiots would be good, wouldn't it? In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Wow. Are we going into like the whole backstory of this dude? I guess we are. Told by occasional flashbacks. Alright, off we go. Thoroughfare Trailhead. So we've got two forks. Don't forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. And no fireworks, please. Alright. Fair enough. Off we go. I guess Henry is not an inexperienced hiker, because otherwise, why would he be here? Let's see. Oh. Okay. Flashback. All right. Uh, Edward Hart says, I was referring to the game, there is no game. <laughs> the flashback is only the first part, and it doesn't last long. Cool. It's 1980. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Uh, hmm. You get mad or you ignore her. I guess we'll try and keep... No, I guess... Hmm. Do you keep things bottled up, guys? Or do you just, you know, uh, let it all out? I think it's probably better to let it all out. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to be not such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. Well, don't be selfish then. Pfft. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants for her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Are you pose and flex like He-Man, or are you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model? Nah, Henry's a He-Man kind of guy. You look awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Gotta be the superhero. Alright. And already you can see how the, the night, uh, the daytime's changing. Huh. It's got some fell trees, I guess. Interesting. I wonder if trees actually just fall over on their own and not having to be, like, cut down by lumberjacks at all. Uh, two forks. Lookout tower. Wait, what does that say? Uh, eight more miles still. Cool. X to climb over obstructions. Yeah. Ah, oh, pretty view. 1982. During the summers, you and Julie enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. May me moo fuck d -d dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away or you beat his goddamn face in. Uh, why would... Hmm. I guess we have to try and scare him away. You reach into the pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Wow, that's a bit harsh. All I was doing is scaring him. It wasn't like I actually beat his face in. 1984, plans to get, have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes back and forth. 2,000 miles away? 
who the hell would actually do that? Commute back and forth 2,000 miles away. Jeez. Well, this point, Henry's being selfish, but if I have to pick one of these options, I'm going to say convince her not to take the job. You tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. So, I guess we could have just commuted, but oh well. 1985. Julia is asked to leave Boulder and paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a collie for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to them just two days prior. Oh no. That's... Hmm. Okay. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. No, we need to talk about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried for her. Uh, for Julia, and she might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Keep it a secret from who? Oh, from everyone, I guess. Alright. Hello. Can't move. Can't see what I'm standing on or sitting on, so... Pick up the journal! <laughs> oh, man, Henry. What a dad bod. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk into the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. I'm getting kind of a beautiful mind vibes from this. Some days you get the Julie who called you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things that brighten the day. But she gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24 hour, hour care. At home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full time care facility or you are determined to take care of her by yourself. Nah. I think Henry's probably been through enough at this point. Full time care facility. This game is very pretty, I must say. And it's just, I think, games are lacking colour uh, nowadays. So, Firewatch having a lot of colour in the game is very okay with me. Uh, so, let's see, where does this path go? This is basically the beginning of Up, but you play it. There's a little moose, dear. Hello, stag. Off he goes. And another fate of black. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. Oh dear. Um, let's see. You go out to the bar with your old friends and it's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Hmm. Hmm. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you want to see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. That's a bit dodgy. Anyway. Months go by and mayhem dies. Julia doesn't remember when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. What kind of job? But you take it. You take it even though we don't know what it is? Hmm. 
I guess the job is Park Ranger. But I guess we'll find out. 1989. That's one year after my older sister was born. Fun fact for you guys. Hey, we've got a fire tower. Enter the lookout tower. We've got a lookout. Ah, oh, okay, I see, I see. Alright, well, I guess up we go. Enter the lookout tower. <laughs> I like that very flat moon. It's not quite a JPEG, because it's obviously modelled, but it's still very, very flat. Anyway. Look at this. Nice views. Yeah. Alright, so. Uh, am I... Have I walked past the door? Oh, got some gas canisters. I guess I walked past the door. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe this fire tower isn't even in use. Oh, no, here it is. Open the door. Turn on the power. Generator switch. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, Rima says the back... Ooh, hello. I heard Delilah there. So, we've got a water jug. The singular mind. Uh, radio. Uh, no. I know you're there. Your lights are on. Huh. Hold L2 to activate radio. Uh, hello? Oh, this is where you can pick the different replies. Okay. Release L2 to talk to Delilah. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. How do you know? Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Oh, uh, okay. Makes sense. Whew. Excuse me. What a question. People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Why do you ask that question? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Oh, you have to guess. Can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Huh. A broken clock is right twice a day. Uh, before we talk to Delira a bit more, I'm going to read these books. The Singular Mind, uh, L1. Dr. Jonas Allard. You're just going to wait me out on this? Whoa, okay. Fine. But I'm going to take a second here and have a guess about you. Huh. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that... Ooh. Okay. Well then, I thought I would get a chance to actually respond to her, but I guess not. Ha! <laughs> okay. I didn't see the countdown timer. No, I did not. Uh, where was it, Remus? Was it in a corner of the screen somewhere? Day one. How many days are there in this game? Hmm. And I think the loading prompt is still... Yeah, there we go. The loading screen is not particularly interesting, but hey, here we go. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're Well, ready. that's creepy. I can see you at your desk. Anyway. Uh, answer the radio. Sorry, I guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Well, to be fair, I can't tell what the time is. Six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. Hmm. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yep, I see it. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Use it to spot you fires. Use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, 
language, lady. <laughs> Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, west-facing window? Fucking fireworks? Uh, so that is... Wait. Yeah, that's no. Fireworks. This way. Yep, those are fireworks. I see fireworks. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Yep. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. It's not even that dark. Why would you even light fires like that? Uh, kick the shit out of them. Can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into discipline. Do you think you can handle that? Like yeah. Kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right. Take their shit. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Just confiscate them. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. Oh, okay. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one two three four. Really? It's actually, that for all of them. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> smart. Smart. Shut up. <laughs> all right, let's grab this. Hey, I can pick up a pine cone. So Rima said that it was an orange bar counting down, which was the timer, but I did not see that clearly. Um, hey, it's until dawn. You get to flip the thing around. Um, so yeah, I'll try and keep an eye out for that next time, but yeah, missed it that time. Um, Candy Lover says, my stream is buffering like crazy. Oh dear. You could try uh, lowering the resolution to something a lot lower, like 480 or even 360. Because this game is not like a graphical showcase or anything. You'll still be able to tell exactly what I'm doing. It's very bright and colourful, which makes it better when you're lowering the resolution. Alright, let's read the map. Uh, zoom in. So, I want to go... Wait, which way do I want to go? I want to head north, right? So, north is this way. Dum, 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 dum. This is really interesting, actually. Having to use a map and compass the old-fashioned way. 1989 for you. Alright, let's see. Whereabouts are we? Zoom in. Yeah, so we got... Uh, oh, 306 is on the path. I'm looking at 303. Well, I might as well just follow the path then. Now, is there a sprint? Yeah, there is. Da, 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 da. Now I think ah uh, yeah this this is the path. Interesting. I, I was about to say oh I think I'm lost. That's not great. All right, there we go. Yeah yeah I get it. Remus, you want to go to cash box three oh six? I was looking at three oh three. Sorry. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> I like how you can't read the map and walk at the same time while zoomed in. Makes no sense, but anyway. So, this is the box. Supply cache. I found the supply cache. I found the supply box. Great. Are there a lot of these in the woods? A lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Huh. Don't take all the good stuff. Don't take all the good stuff? Yeah, all right. Okay, can I interact with you? Yeah, so... One... Two... Three... Four... Oh, he still wears his wedding ring! That's nice. Uh, so, we've got old rope. Uh, do I need anything else? There's a map in here, what is it? R2... What does this say? 7786, so three years ago. Note from Dave. Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and stu put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, get let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Let's put that back, shall we? Um, ooh, a granola bar. That's been there for three years? Well, I'm not going to have that, no thank you. And this is copy information. <laughs> Map updated. It's a very organic way of doing this, I think. Anyway, so... Let's have a look-see. We've got Medicine Wheel, Ruby River... 
So I guess I want to head, let's see, Thunder Canyon, Jonesy Lake, Mule Point. All right, let's see. So they were west, if I'm not mistaken. So I need to make sure that I head west, which is this way. Dum, dum, dum. Hopefully I'll be able to hear the fireworks because I can't really see them. Also, I'm in the fork of the road. Let's see. So, I would like to go, well, straight line, I guess. This way. Man, this brings back memories of doing, like, orienteering. Did anybody else? Ooh. Oh, right. So, you can press square to uh, toggle jogging rather than having to click the left stick. That's nice. Does anybody else remember those times when you had to do, like, outside activities and Duke of Edinburgh awards and things like that? Clawed up tree. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. Bears! Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. Huh. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. <laughs> well, thoroughfare, they hunt people. They kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Wow. Don't you think that's disconcerting? That is disconcerting, Henry. That's life. No, it's not. Christ, lady. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're going to attach this rope hook here. Shale slide. Can I... There we go. Have to do it from the correct side. Uh, let's see. Um, Reaper is here, says hello, hello Reaper, and the too low game voice. Alright, I can turn the game voice up if you'd like. Make sure I'm gonna be... Oh god! Wow. That could have been death for him. Anyway, I'm gonna turn up the game volume a bit. To 15. Let me know if that's a little bit louder for you. Um... Let's see. Report climbing accident. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I don't know. I think I'll make it. <laughs> Be careful for Christ's sake. Oh, that's great advice. Be careful. Amazing. Alright, so how was that, guys? Was that a little bit better, or do you need to have the volume turned up again? Old climbing gear. Huh. Somebody else has got some stuff around here. Also, I don't actually know if this has got a realistic day-night cycle. That'd be pretty cool if it did. Anyway, uh, before I go any further. Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. So I'm still heading in kind of the right direction. This way, yeah. Okay. Ah, nice and peaceful. Carrion crows. Report Meadow. Um, cliffs down here or something. Ah, uh, nice camping stop. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Uh, <laughs> uh, Remus says I didn't notice the volume of the voices. How was that, Remus? I kept quiet for that bit specifically. Um, I can turn it up a bit more if you'd like, because there's not a lot of music or anything in this game, so. Hey, beer cans. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. <laughs> what? You don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? What's a muskwell well, light? Do, but then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. They're literally, like, leaving a path towards where they're going to go. Now, I don't want to drop this on the ground, really. I was going to say, like, is there not, like, a bag to put all these beer cans in? Because that's what I'd want to do. Oh, clean up. There we go. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I'm being responsible, adult. Although I could just be a shitty person and say, you know what, I'm not the maid. Where is he putting them, though? There we go. Is that all of them? 
Looks like all of them. Cool. Alright, so, how's that, guys? I've put the volume up to 13 decibels now. Um, so, that might be a bit better for you, in case you can hear. Hey, backpacks. They let their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Hmm. Uh, good point. Can't interact with them anyway. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Nope. Whiskey! Shit. Ferret or Irish? Huh, maybe this is nice. Ferret or Irish? Single malt whiskey. So, can I actually drink? <laughs> Save for later. Uh, bottle of whiskey? They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Half a bottle of whiskey? Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. I'll have this for later. <laughs> the way he just, like, tosses it in his hand. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have this for later. I wonder how much your decisions can actually change the game in this. Because obviously there's the backstory part, which you can choose your backstory for Henry. But I'm not sure what happens in the game. Let's see. Uh, Rima says, I missed a beer can. Let's go and get that now, shall we? I think I've spotted it here. Yeah. Um, you don't want to know where you put the cans. No, I don't actually. And Shinra Pfeiffer is here and says the game sounds good to me. Good. I, re I realized it might be a little bit quiet because I can hear it's a bit quiet in my ears. Did they just take off? Oh, well, someone's getting jiggy with it. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. <laughs> um, w are we supposed to just interrupt them in the middle of what they're doing? Because, you know. Yep, yeah, that's a bra. A bra! I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Wow. Uh, did I re actually miss another uh, beer can somewhere? Swear I didn't. Oh, these are the fireworks. That's what I missed. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Confiscate. Cool. Let's see. I'm just gonna, just gonna have another quick sweep of the area before I move on to the nudie pyromaniacs. Pretty sure I got all the beer cans. Unless you guys are just taking the piss with me. No, you're right. There's another one. Oh, there's oh, so many beer cans! Oh, what are these little bugs? Jeez. Alright, I think that's all of them now. Yeah. Backpacks over there. Got the fireworks. Seen the clothes. I think that'll do. Rob, the worst forest cleaner. I didn't say I was the greatest one. In fact, I could be like a real shit and just play this guy as, you know what, I'm not going to pick up anything. It's not my job. A pair of panties. Ha! <laughs> wow. I like how he's holding them. <laughs> uh, there are uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Alright, Delilah. Don't be mean. Oh, I can hear music. Nice. Another pair of panties. Huh. Yes. <laughs> two naked women. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know, bears. Two. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. <laughs> okay. I like Delilah already. No. Please. Enjoy dealing with that. Yes, I'm a guy. Thank you for noticing. I've got a real He-Man body. School stereo. Oh, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was the Oh, they're teens and they're drunk. With the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Wow.
Well, that's a bit harsh. Jeez. And of course, we don't even get to see them naked. God. Alright, can I turn them off? No? Okay. <laughs> I hope they drown. <laughs> it went fine. Well, yeah, you're welcome, Delilah. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take the boombox. Actually, I can't confiscate it or anything, can I? Hmm. Maybe I'd better off leave it where it was. Jonesy Lake. Anyway, leave that there. Alright, we're going to head back to the lookout. Uh, Candy Lover says, all I'm going to say is that this game is not black and white. Shinra Fiver says, she's literally my spirit animal. Uh, Rima says, you can just throw the boombox down or in the water. Nah, that's harsh. They might have bad taste in music, but, you know, it's not worth them, you know, having their stuff broken. Stomp out. Did I stomp it out? Well, I put out their fire. Forest fire, something good too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no, I think your first instinct was the right one. Hmm. They just left the stuff so down. They just left their stuff down here, but it would be a bad idea for me to toss it all in the lake, right? Yes, I don't think that'd be wise. If you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job, that'd be great. Okay. Now the question is, do I play this game as an absolute dick and break everything, or do I do be the nice guy? Because I can't seem to interact with these clothes anymore, so the backpacks, guess they've got to stay where they are. And, well, I guess, yeah. I only need to stomp the campfire out once, so. Anyway, we're on. Uh, by the way, Rob, you do know you missed at least one of the can. Can I see it around? Let's see... Missed one of the can. I'm not going to spend too long looking for it, Remus, just because, you know, looking for a beer can is not the most exciting thing to do. But, hey, if I'm going to play this as a good guy park ranger, then that's what I'm going to do. Mm, I can't see the beer can. Dum, 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 dum. Nope. Anyway. So yeah, I was going to say, uh, you really are blind. You looked at it twice. <sighs> right, okay, okay. Where is this beer can? You're going to need to use landmarks to point it out to me, Remus. Because I'm not seeing it otherwise. Backpacks... Do, 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 do. Looked at it twice. Did I look at it twice? I don't think I looked at it twice. Maybe once, but not twice. Nah, you know what? Screw it. It's a beer can. I can tell them off for littering later. Alright, so we want to head back to... Uh, yeah, basically just the way back we came. I wonder if it's actually possible to get lost in this game. That would be pretty cool. Having to run away from the bears. Ah, oh, actually, that's a good point. How am I supposed to get back up the cliffside? My, my rope's broken. Hmm. Curious. You've looked at it five times in the last three minutes. Well, it can stay there for all I care. So I can't get the climbing gear myself. And when I get to the shale, I'm not going to be able to go back up it, am I? Hmm. Can I do Skyrim horses? Ah, I can't. Okay, so. Time to figure out where to go. So, that is too high. <laughs> it looks like I would need to go past the lake to Thunder Canyon, and then there. That's a bit dodgy. That's going the long way around, though. 
Oh, I don't really have a better option. So... That's if I wanted to stick to the low ground, that is. If I wanted to go just by the trees and the forest, I should be able to just follow this rock wall to the right, and then, as long as I keep this on the right-hand side, I'll eventually find a right way to climb up. Hopefully it's got low enough um, gradient that I can actually climb it. Actually, is there even a jump in this game? No, just hopovers. Uh, Emerald Heart says, how are the playful boys? They're fine. Uh, they've been a bit of a pain uh, this after. Ooh, raccoon. Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. <gasps> a raccoon. I can't understand you. You're whispering. I'm whispering. Because Hello. you're whispering. <laughs> Man. So yeah, the boys have been a bit of a pain today, so I've shut them out for the time being, but I'll let them back in um, once we've finished with the stream for today. Um, but yeah, otherwise, they're, they're good. Hmm. Hello? Weird. Maybe I need to keep going around. Let's see. So this is kind of heading back to where their backpacks are, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, am I stuck? A bit stuck. Can I climb down, please? That'd be nice. Yeah, there we go. So, can I climb up these rocks here? Nah, the game won't let me. Okay. I think I will have to go all the way to the lake and um, go right afterwards. Look out for the can on the way there. It's on the right-hand side in the grass. In the grass, you say? Let's see. Grass, grass, grass. Grass, grass, grass. There we go. Found it. Thank you. I have upheld my uh, resourceful nature and, you know, kept the park clean. Also, the part about stomping out the campfire is actually a really good thing to do because obviously in this type of environment in America, dry forest, um, forest fires can happen quite a bit. Uh, and that's the kind of their jobs actually, to prevent forest fires from happening. Only you can prevent forest fires from happening. Yeah, there, here we go. This is where I was supposed to go. Alrighty. Oh, wow. Huh. Color change. All right, let's see where we're going. So I am, yeah, basically follow the river, and we'll eventually get back to where we need to be. <laughs> Edward Hart says I love seeing animals play. Uh, Shinra Pfeiffer says it's the best, and Remus says, "Woo, you found the can!" Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I wonder how long it takes for the sun to go down here. Also, I'm noticing a few hitches every now and then, which is not great. But, you know, I'm enjoying the atmosphere of the game, so it's fine. Let's see. I'm half expecting to find some bears playing in the river, even though I guess it's not actually much of a river at this point. Yeah, it's kind of tiny. But I will. Was I running there for a second? Hmm. Yeah, he seems to like do a, a small dash when he goes downhill, which makes sense. That would actually happen. One of the biggest tips that I've ever learned about hiking or well, walking in natural uh, is to always maintain your height. So, hmm? hello, Delilah. Have a bit of a confession to make. Go on. What is it? Ah. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. It's fine. Don't anyway, worry about it. Let me know when you get back to your lookout. Well, speaking of, I can actually see it. 
I can see my tower from far away. Yeah, we experimented with hidden underground towers for a while, but we weren't really happy with the results. Uh, we're together all summer? I'm with you all summer, huh? With whatever this sense of humor is. Can you even believe? You're gonna love it. Sure, sure. Uh, so, let's see. Yeah, I suppose I need to keep going forward for a little bit and then head right. Dum, 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 ba, dum, bum, ba, da, da. So yeah, the tip I was explaining about hiking. Basically, you want to keep your height whenever possible. You don't want to be going up and downhill all the time. It makes it a lot easier for you to actually conserve your energy when you're oh, nearby storm. What? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and... Try not to get hit by lightning. Why would I get hit by lightning? I got hit by lightning when I was nine. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. <laughs> I, don't like the I think that's that. based on a true story, actually. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like. Oh, hello. Ah, so this is cache 303. So if this is cache 303, then I've gone a little bit too far. Unless... Ah, oh, I see. I need to go through the cave and then come out. Okay. Alright, so supply cache. Let's see what's here. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Defend. Danger. Bravery. The great outdoors. Defend our frontier. Alright, let's copy this. Beartooth Point. Uh, Cache 303. Thunder Canyon. Uh, ah, yeah. So basically, you go through the cave and then you get to two forks lookout. That makes sense. Ooh, flashlight. Handy. What? Ah, ah clever. And a horn. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Okay. Why did he have it? Hmm. Oh. What? No, put it back in. Don't just drop it on the ground, Henry. There we go, that's better. Uh, wasn't anything else in here, was there? Cool, we can close that. Alright, through the cave. Let's hope there's no care, uh, bears in here. Care bears. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. <laughs> but in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. I can. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Reply. Um. <laughs> ah, danger. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Henry. Seriously, it's completely fine. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Henry, such an asshole. Anyway. Hello? That's pretty cool. Anyway, so, locked gate, it needs keys. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. That makes sense. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Eh, uh, no great loss. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Hmm. Well, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. I actually want to stay in the cave for a little Sorry, bit. Hank. Uh, let's see. It's all right to hike through here, right? It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Say what? Uh, another lookout? <laughs> they go in, they never come out. Man, that dynamic is great. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. 
man. One more time. <laughs> oh, man, Henry, you're such a child. Anyway, so, we've got Emerald Heart saying, solely to moon? Not quite, I don't think. I die of cuteness every time I see a, a puppy or a cat, says Candy Lover. Ah, they are very cute, aren't they? Um, Remus says, it's not size that matters. Spoiler alert, it is. I think I missed the context on that. Roy Sullivan hit seven times and then killed himself by suicide. Yeah. I imagine being struck by lightning more than once. And you'd be like, how is my look this bad? There's a figure, what? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Hello. Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Told you about this area. It's full of creepy weirdos. It's outside. <laughs> the whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Man, Delilah is such a sassy girl. Anyway, so where do I need to go? Uh kind of heading in the right direction. Yeah, let's go this way. Uh, let's see. Medusa is my favorite character in the show. Which show is this? I missed a, I've missed. i missed something here, Shinra. Alright, let's see. Do I actually want to climb these rocks? Uh, I guess so. Go on. Let's climb these rocks. One of these choices is probably going to kill me. But not today. We can we can get some of that dad bod uh, loose, Henry. Don't you worry. Lots of exercise, lots of outdoor walking. You'll lose the pounds in no time. Mantle and a bit more climbing. It's not quite like until dawn where you have to press prompts to do all this. All of this is automatic, obviously. That's why I'm saying that eventually this choice will probably kill me, but hey-ho. Uh, so, yep, yeah, straight line. Do, 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 do. Now, imagine if that was just a safer way to get up. Uh, let's see. Um, Rob can't see the pictures. Uh, neither can I when I'm not on Twitch. Oh, no, those pictures are not coming up, unfortunately. I think, unless it's like cat emojis, which I think I saw those, but otherwise, no. I haven't seen any pictures that you've posted in the chat um, for Remus to display on Restream. Uh, try a close sign. Oof. <laughs> oh, Henry. Damn it. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Ta-da! Hey! Outhouse! Wait, what? Outhouse? Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? <laughs> You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Wow. Now we've got a generator. So this generator, it's all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Oh, somebody's had the typewriter. Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Well, there's probably going to be somebody waiting in here for me, if anything. Let's put it back. Yep, broken in. Can I report this? Vandalism! Death strikes at two. Point to the... There we go. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. 
photo with Julie. Ah, that's nice. You don't get to see Julia, but still. Hmm. Uh, let's put that back. No, don't drop it on the ground. I want to put it back. Okay, I put in a call. Ah. That was fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done this? The creepy guy. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Huh. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Hmm. I need you to feel safe out here. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> the Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone that makes sense. And a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, that was day one. <laughs> what an eventful day. Uh, let's see, Remus says, you missed something near the outhouse, actually behind the outhouse. Candid Lover says, Ariana Grande is my fave, and Shinra is responding to Emerald Ha. Ah, for the Soul Eater Moon. Yeah, I don't actually know what the Soul Eater Moon is all about. I'm assuming it's from an anime, but I have no idea. That was an eventful first day. You woke up at 6.45pm and you met two naked girls and a creepy guy. Oh, and let's go the whiskey! Yeah! Hey, wake up! Yep, I'm here. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Good our first problem. day. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Hmm. No backup? I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two day hike out of here. Oh. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Straight to the okay. north when you come out of the Thanks, cave. Alright. It's <laughs> you call me Hank. Like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Why would okay. you call someone Hank if it wasn't their name? Thanks, Hank. Anyway, so I guess out we go. Let's see. Um, Reaper asks, "What's from an anime?" I'm assuming Soul Eater Moon is from an anime, but I might be totally mistaken from that. Um, I almost forget the dynamic with Delilah, says Remus. She's great. She is great. I like the pair of them together. Alright, so, where's this outhouse? Yeah, I want to see that outhouse. So, we've got an outhouse here. Generator. Wooden sign. <laughs> you know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. <laughs> he inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. Wow. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. <laughs> I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. Since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo, but? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. <laughs> yeah, really? Forrest Burns? Why? Anyway, so, 
It is morning time. We can explore all this. No problem. Uh, let's see. Soul Eater Moon is the Soul Eater in Soul Eater. Uh, it's the moon in Soul Eater, sorry. Uh, Soul Eater is an anime. I thought it was. I thought it was. Uh, you're right. It's from Soul Eater. Eh, fault so. Ooh. Cold. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, Mayhem. Favorite bar? Uh, you know, boring if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. So why don't you go anymore? Um, I took this job. I took this job. Oh, <laughs> duh. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Go on. Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hmm. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? What? Huh? What? Okay, good. Uh... No, I don't think he has any idea. Ooh, secrets! I'm absolutely sure. Would you? Wow, this is weird. Hearing half a conversation. Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Huh. Well. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, if there's anyone or anything you want to talk about, fire away. Huh, okay. Um, I guess we'll talk about Julia. Uh, we can talk about my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. My wife. But you're here. Um, she's sick and I shouldn't be here. Uh, yeah, I guess. She's sick and I shouldn't be here, but I am. Sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. I mean, I this is pretty heavy stuff going on your pretty second pretty day on the job. If you need to. Anyway. Ah, oh, pretty butterflies. Let's see. Uh, Rob, you're mean or rather rude? Nah, I wouldn't say so. If someone says, oh, can you give me a minute? I'm going to call someone else. Then, um, you know, if they don't turn off their phone or whatever, then that's their fault. You know? Listening into a conversation. Also, it's, it was only half a conversation, so you can't actually learn anything interesting. It's just, huh, somebody's talking about me. I wonder what they're saying. Anyway, where do I need to go? So, I am basically going north, I assume. Let's see. Yeah, kind of north. Following the path around. Uh, nah, Julia is important. Of course she's important. She's my wife. You know. No need to talk about stuff that's not that interesting or, you know, shouldn't have been listening to when you've got other things to talk about. So... This is... Huh, okay. Cold morning fog. I kind of... Oh, hello. Yeah, I've noticed the hitching a couple of times, and that's not fantastic, but... Oh, well. I'm enjoying the dynamic between Henry and Julia quite a bit. So I'm I'm willing to overlook the technical flaws of this game. Cause the writing and the voice acting is so goddamn good. Alright, so this is the power line. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Alright. We'll do. There's something. What's this? Thoroughfare, bare tooth point. Okay. So that's that. So I guess we just keep following the wire. Uh, let's see. Rima says, you don't know if they were talking about you. That is a good point, actually. I mean, it's kind of assumed based on the fact that Julia, uh, not Julia, Delilah said, hey, can you give me a minute? And then she immediately goes back to talking to you. So, you know, it's implied, but obviously, like you said, it's not actually guaranteed. Um, they probably were, but it's just that you don't know who broke in. 
All right, so utility pole. Come on. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Hmm, all right. I'm sure I keep seeing, like, other things I can respond to on the walkie-talkie. Let's see. Following the wire. Do 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 do. Now I am going to assume that any encounters with wildlife in this game are going to be kind of scripted as such, but I would actually quite. I don't know if it would add to the feeling of isolation if you just wait. Can I not climb over this? Really? Oh well, okay then. I guess I can just. Mm. Is it possible to die in this game? I don't feel like it would be. Let's see. I'll not risk it though, just in case. Take the safer way down. Although, as I said before, you kind of want to keep your height where possible. But, oh well. Do, 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 do. Remus says, I would call this game semi open world. That Oh, come on, more beer. Really? What? what is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Teenagers. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Don't be certain of fireworks near there. Long drop down. What? How's that a long drop down? I just jumped gaps like this before it. Easy. Alright, uh, okay. Oh. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Oh, it's a utility pole. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Inspect the communication line up close. Uh, Reaper says this is not an open world game, but I guess that's why Remus said semi-open world, because it's mostly linear, but the idea that you can just, you know, walk around the way you want to is kind of nice. Ah. Oh. Look at all these goddamn beer cans. Ugh. Anyway. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> these idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? No, they don't. What if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? Hmm. I want you to go find them. Find the teens! I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Oh, yeah, I can do that. No problem. Spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. Really? <laughs> I'll find him. That's... Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. That's a bit Hold odd. Your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, that was definitely a pair of panties saying go to hell. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Also, is skinny dipping really that big of a thing in other countries? Because, obviously, we live in the UK, and I can't imagine going skinny dipping in the UK. Because it's going to be freezing. Uh, also, just the general thing of, I really don't want to get naked in front of other people. Uh, Candy Lois says, you picked up a can. Uh, Reaper says, only if you pick up all the cans can you get the true ending. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall for that, Reaper. 
Uh, and let's see, you can access any area in the game when you want to, so it is open. But you can't go literally anywhere uh, where there isn't a path, so it's semi-open. Alright, so I've got two options here. Uh, so, oh, it's freaking out a bit. Oh well, uh, so, this, 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 cash. Which way do you want to go? North to a supply drop. Yeah, you know what, go north to a supply drop. Alright, where's the compass? So, north is not that way. Uh, it's kind of this way. We'll, we'll see what's in the supply drop thing, and then that might have a gun so we can scare them. Um, hopefully, at least. Um, it's not a lie, says Reaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you... you no, I don't believe you. Um, so, let's see... Yeah, I want to turn right here. Jump. Woo! Alright, up we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And yeah, Re Remus says, nice try. Uh, the true ending is when an ending happens and the forest is can-free. Yeah, well, I guess I'm not that meticulous in my uh, cleanup of the forest. All right, let's see, where are we? Left or right? Left. Sprint, Henry. To the supply drop. All right, so. You really think they wouldn't have one, two, three, four as the combination for any of these things? Like, current year, I can see, but one, two, three, four, really? Anyone could guess that. So, what do we have? We have a uh, moss peak uh, with a big fat nothing. We have two forks with a big fat nothing. And we have spruce with a big fat nothing. Isn't that fantastic? There's nothing in here. Oh, Alright, okay. Let's go back down to where the tower was then, I guess. So, back the way I came. Charge! Mm-hmm. With Rob as a fire watcher, no forest can be free. No forest can be can free. It's explained why they have that combination. One, two, three, four. I guess it makes it convenient, which is one of the dialogue options that Henry gets, but still. Alright, back to Jonesy Lake. Do 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 Huh. What is that? A hanging backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Huh. Well, you could always go for it for supplies. Supplies! It's Brian Goodwin's pack. <laughs> camera. <laughs> hey, there's actually a camera taken. Oh, climbing gear. Oh, yeah. oh, that's good. With ropes now. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. Yeah. There's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Oh, this is nice. Wait, wait, who? Brian Goodwin. The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Uh, lookout? Ranger? Ranger. Is he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Huh. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Will do. Not to snap anything that would scar a photo dome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Yeah. What is Delilah supposed to do all day? Uh, with a yeah, okay. So this is basically explaining why you can go back and forth between all the different areas, saying that 
Oh, there's so many rocks down. Uh, so many rocks with hooks on that I can just leave the ropes here. Uh, let's see. Candy Lover says, Rob, you should do a stream of Try Not To Laugh or Try Not To Scream with the videos that we submit. We, you know, we could do that. Uh, we do have some ideas of how to expand what we do on the stream. Uh, like a subscriber stream, maybe. Um, but yeah, and then the supply cache. Cool. Alright, let's see. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have got any other ideas you want to give to us for what we should do on streams, whether it's on weekend or weekdays or whatever it is, then yeah, let us know. So we got photo down. Note. What do we have? Let's see. Can I examine the note? Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and I heard him talking to himself. More than usual for lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. So that's all he's talking about, uh, Brian. So I guess Brian's going to meet a sticky end. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. Kind of. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Uh, cache two for one, two forks look out. Oh, so there's more, more than one cache. Interesting. And a fossilized claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Well, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece <laughs> by piece. Huh. It's like a velociraptor claw. Interesting. Alright. Back in you go. There we go. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if the note's supposed to do that. Just float in midair. Anyway, moving on. So, let's see. Uh, Reaper says that Delilah's in a fire tower, so she'll just watch for fires. That's kind of what she does. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Wait, what? Oh. She's got Alzheimer's. Yeah. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? 41. Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Uh... Hmm, I was gonna say, yeah, devastating. Devastating? Especially for her? You can understand? And for you? Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't. Oh, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. School's out for summer. <laughs> Trying to have for some. Yeah, I mean, talking about your wife that's got Alzheimer's or dementia is not, like, the most um, encouraging thing to talk about, I would say. Also, this, this used to have a fire in. Hence all the burned trees. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. What? My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Uh, do we have to investigate around here? Let's see. Yeah, you know, well, that's probably kind of where we need to go. Um, Rima says, by the way, I forgot it was Monday today until you saw you started a stream. I was actually a little bit late to the start of the stream. I was going to say, um, I had a pretty stressful day today. It's like a nine-hour day in terms of actually waking up and doing work and so on. So that's why I decided to play Firewatch. Um, and I'm glad I did, actually, because it's, you know, it's really nice. Hey, uh, Delilah? Hey there, Delilah. What you got? You found him? What's it like in no, New York City? Why would there be a fence out here? To keep people out? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. 
So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence. A chain link fence? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Do you know what's going on with your forest, Delilah? Uh, what are they keeping in? What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? The Wendigo! Jeez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Aww, okay. cute little hedgehogs. Thousands even, full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Ha-ha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high-quality information. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. Do you think those girls could be behind this? <laughs> mm, they could be. Well, climb a fence especially if i knew i was in trouble yeah, I, I don't even know how i would get in it's really strange that that's out there by the way yeah it's weird hmm hey remember that guy from yesterday the guy i saw hiking home ah the completely unmotivated vandal yeah that guy go on maybe he was from this fence place mm, from the land of the fence yes you know what? I'll make a note. You might be on to something. Yay! Validation! Woo! Uh, Candle Lover says, I think it would be a good idea for a Get Wrecked Wednesday to do Try Not To Laugh or Try Not To Scream videos. You guys can keep points and whoever does not laugh gets a point. Alright, so I've literally just done a big circle now. Um, so, yeah. Let's try and go another, another way. Oh, wow. Talking even more about the wife. Um, oh, I see the timer now, Remus. Yeah, you got time to reply. Uh, yeah, Rob forgot his objective. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Easily impressed. I was drunk. Alright, let's actually try and investigate the fireweed area now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't even know if this game actually has like an objective system. Let's pause the game. Uh, hide interface, mute. No, let's not mute the game. Uh, yeah, no, no objective or anything to find. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Who's the flapjack? Excuse me, flapjack. You know, like a loser, a charge. A charge. I really don't, but I do now. The next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hmm. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Beautiful. Okay. Um, your objective is finding the trail of girls. I know, I know. I was wondering if they were on the other side of the fence, to be honest. But it didn't seem like there was a safe way for them to climb up over it. When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Uh, I... Uh, I got the job out of the paper. I got the job out of the paper. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. Put the map away. What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Well, actually, no, because I'm not American. Explain more. Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. 
There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. Again, not American. What are you gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Hmm. This is actually really interesting listening to the history of, like, Yellowstone Park and everything. Also, am I back in Thunder Canyon? Let's have a look. I am. Alright, let's go back. Oh, wait. Do I need to go back or do I need to go to the... Hmm. This is interesting. Let's see. Cash. So... Let's see. Da -da -da -da. I want to go back to where I just was. I want to go the opposite direction to what I picked. So, the left path rather than the right path. Um, let's see. Can I get back there pretty quickly? Let's have a look. Is this even the right way? I think I've already screwed up. Oh, well. Oh, Rob keeps walking in circles. Yeah, I kind of expected that from this type of game. Walking simulator. Um, well, I guess it's not actually a walking simulator. This is more like an investigation. Kind of. Anyway. Um, let's see. You need to find the girls. When you grab the map, it jo shows the objective. Wait, what was that? Uh, go visit her. Maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Right, okay. I'm definitely going back on the way came. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better. And That's a bit harsh. That I could have done a better job looking after her. Probably not as harsh. That, I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Mm hmm Good advice from Delilah. Uh, <laughs> the God of Chicken says, Yes, abseiling is exactly that easy. Um, I've only just tuned in, but I can see this being entertaining. Just can't listen now, though, because my daughter is crying up a storm. Oh, dear. Um, Remus says, I didn't get lost, so it's definitely your fault. All right, all right, all right. I get it, I get it, I get it. So... The objective is... I guess it's back where the fireweed was. Find the teens! Yeah, and there's not going to be like a... Um, a marker on the map saying, Hey, the teens are here! But you know, this is a nice, delightful little adventure. little walk in the countryside. Uh, and it's like, yeah, it's kind of weird actually. I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley recently, and that's actually a really nice game to relax and play, even though it's all about working on a farm, which I would never actually want to do in real life. But it's just because, obviously, you don't get tired playing a game, and you don't have to actually do all the work. And this is nice as well. You don't have to do all the walking in the countryside yourself, but you can in the game. Alright, so, let's see. I'm where all the burned-out fireweed is... Uh, let's see. Okay, so thoroughfare, supply drop. I haven't found any clues as such. Found some beer cans, but nothing to suggest that they'd actually be here. So let's have a look on the map. So, fence blocks that off. Cash 241. Thoroughfare basin, maybe? Yeah, you know what, let's try going this way. Uh, <laughs> um, if the Yellowstone volcano ever erupts, we are all dead. Uh, well, I'd like to think that ourselves across the ocean might be okay for a bit, but yeah, I think you're right, Candy Lover. If Yellowstone does go up, we are kind of screwed, aren't we? Um, and the God of Chicken says, find the teens was Kevin Spacey's objective for a while. Oof. Oof. Harsh. But true. But also harsh. Oh, so true. All right, let's see. I'm going to go back to where that cache was. Um, actually, do I need to go back to where the cache was? 
just been the supply drop. Yeah, I'm going to go back to where the cash was. I think the game is supposed to lead you to this fence, and then um, from there you're supposed to make the conclusion of, hey, they actually went this way, rather than go back on yourself. I know it's literally walking in circles, but it should be okay. So let's see. Yeah, if I turn left here. And where does this go? So... Da, da, da. Anywhere to rappel down? No? Is this literally just a dead end? Let's see. Uh, well, I guess not, actually. Um... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to test out the photo mode. It's actually really nice having a photo mode like this. Ta-da! In-game photo mode. I'll see if I can try and take a picture of a bear at some point later. Hmm. Okay. So, the objective is find the teens. Uh, let's see. So, fireweed is up there. Cut communications wire... Unless all I literally have to do is go back to where they were in the lake. That seems too obvious, though. Hmm. Wait, what's this? I suppose I could go to Beartooth Point, but then what would be the point? I'd just be going back the way I came, but from the opposite side. Hmm. If anybody in the chat wants to give a hint of where they might be, let me know. Uh, that'll speed the stream up a little bit. I'd like to try and finish day two before we wrap up the stream. But obviously if I'm wandering around for like 20 minutes at a time, that's not going to happen. Let's see, is there anything over here? No? Okay. Hmm. There's not exactly a trail of panties to go by. Let's climb up. Uh, Firewatch Dream, Rob Gets Lost, part one. Yeah, you got a point. You got a point. Okay, so... We are back here. I'm forgetting where the teen stuff was actually pointing towards. Whether it's pointing towards that way where the fence was, or this way. And I can't really ask Delilah for any tips, can I? Hmm... Let's see. I did wonder how often Delilah would actually speak to you though. So I'm guessing the answer is outside of the scripted moments, not that much. Unless the fact that she's talking to me while I'm walking is actually proof that I'm actually heading in the right direction. Because it has been been a while since she talked to me. Uh hike towards five mile creek, says Remus. So, Five Mile Creek is... Anderson Wheel, Ah, okay. So, it's head down Thunder Canyon, all the way down here. That's really far away. Oh, I get it. Because I've now got all the different ropes, I can go to all the places I couldn't go to before. So that dead end there, in the middle of the screen, is where I need to go now. That makes sense. Thank you, Remus. You've saved everyone a lot of time. Myself, mostly, but everyone else watching as well. Da-da-da-da-da. <sighs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. So yeah, guys, in the chat, tell me what your fondest memory of hiking or orienteering is. Uh, oh, this, this is a different... So it is. It's a different rappel point. Well, now that I've got it. Ta-da! Rappel! Rappelling is this easy. Got a chicken. This easy. Da, 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 da. Alrighty, so... Uh, ooh, canyon crossover. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete...
leave Arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Alright, so, where do we want to go? Do I actually want to cross over or not? I guess I do, actually, yeah. Evil Knievel! Yeah. Uh, really, Rob? That's what you were missing. Keep an eye on the sky. Keep an eye on the sky? Uh... I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the Ah! Well. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. So... Were you supposed to be able to see that where the um, fireweed was, the burned out area? Because I swear I wouldn't have been able to see it from there. And, you know, looking from this angle, obviously you can't see it. Anyway. Doo -doo. I guess I can't climb up there. That's fine. Can I go up here? Yeah. Long drop down. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Candy Lover says, I've never been like rock climbing, but I want to. I do go on a lot of walks. That's nice. It is nice to sort of take a minute to. Um, wait, what? Hello? Is that a floating note again? <laughs> okay, sure. Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars he liked. Oh, I've already read this. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's take a uh, da, da, da. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Hmm. Am I gonna eat it? Hey, there's a snack in here. Probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Okay. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. True, true. I did forget that it's three years old. Alright, so... Find the source of the smoke. Uh, so southwest, yeah, it's kind of in this direction. Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Zazpu is here and says, Hoi! Hello guys, I'm back from school. Hello Zazpu, thanks for joining the stream. How are you doing today? Uh, 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 uh. Yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's a smoke signal. I'm going to be a badass ranger! Thin column of smoke. Did you have a good day at school, Zazapu? In fact, how was your day, everyone? Everyone here. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? Yeah. Do I seriously have to? Of course you Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh, uh, effort. Right, go down. Go on. There we go. I'm gonna teach those teens a lesson. I wonder what you're supposed to do if you actually find the column of smoke but no teens there. Let's see. Oh, am I going the wrong direction? Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, I'm going in the wrong direction. I need to go this way. Nope, put the camera away. Camera away. Oh, I took a picture. Damn it. Go away. Camera. Ugh, anyway. Alright, so let's hook this up. And down we go. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Uh, let's see. Zazpu's in the 10th grade. Candy Lover's in the 8th. Uh, Zazpu had a good day. Um, Candy Lover had half a day. Ooh, nice. Get to it. Uh, enjoy half a day off. Uh, and Reba says, my day was alright. It was a pretty short day. Cool. I'm glad to hear it, guys. 
Ah, right, let's see. Come on, we can go. Out into the countryside. Hey, daytime's changing. My walkie-talkie man. Ooh, another cache. Yeah, boy. Let's see what this cache is all about. And yoink. Alrighty, so we have in their country, learn to live with bears, missing persons file. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. A thoroughfare because it's so remote. Mitch Michaels, age 31, height 6 foot 2, 165 pounds, hair with short brown, distinctive facial hair. Mitch Michaels was last seen in Jonesy Lake in 1981. He was first reported missing on the 29th of July. That was three weeks! Four weeks, even! Jeez. Uh, by Forest Service personnel, he is not known to be familiar with the area. Mitch was last seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. He has a Ford F... 250, blue and white. If you've seen or contacted them or have more info, please contact Shoshone. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It mm. just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Hmm. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, I am actually pretty bad at spotting fires, as proven by the stream. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. So, smoke, smoke. Look to the skies for smoke. Where am I, actually? Let's have a look. Yeah, oh, I, I think I can see where the campfire might be. Anyway, we'll follow the stream for a bit. Oh, look at these god rays. Yeah. Light rays coming in through the leaves. Uh, let's see. Uh, Zazpoo's going to go and eat crackers. Be right back. Uh, Shinra says, I'm in college. Sophomore. Uh, <laughs> is college like college on TV or is it less drama? Ask Candy Lover. Um, I would think that college is probably less drama than on TV. Mainly because you have to have like conflict in a TV show to make it appealing to people. So they kind of play up a little bit. That's not to say that there isn't drama in college in, you know, America, but, you know, it's not quite as bad as people make it out to be on TV. All right, where are we at? We are, ah, yeah, let's follow the path. Smoke, where are you, smoke? Do -do. Can't see the smoke anywhere. Whoop. Waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Oh, we're gonna surprise the girls in the waterfall again. All right, fair enough. Hmm. Du -du -du -du. Waterfall. Clothes. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Huh. Uh, 
thoroughfare lookout. Come on. I saw the prompt. Come on. I saw the prompt. Oh, I guess I have to go through. Big archway. Hey, the game's saving. Cool. I must be going in the right direction then. There we go. Where is it? There we go. Delilah's... Why can I not say anything? It's Delilah's Tower. Here's the campfire. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? Oh, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Hmm. Track them down and don't let them see you. Don't let them see me? What this is. Really? Okay. Teen zone. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Hmm. Uh, dangerous hunks, really? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> oh man. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Huh. Pants are back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pants are back. Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone Magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean? I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Uh-oh. The camping tent's been ripped open! The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? Oh yes I do. That's a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. That is good yeah. that is a good idea. Alright, well that's one. Um uh, torn clothes. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh that's not good. Uh, ooh, a note. What does a note say? Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking mech axe murderer and you are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. So, they think that was me, but it's probably the creepy guy that's on his own. Gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're calling police. Apparently, they called the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No. I didn't do anything to them. I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right. It's just it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Huh. Yeah, me too. So. Oh, well, that's day three. Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's see what people are saying in the chat. Uh, Shinra says it depends on the school about the drama in college. Here in Washington State, it's really not that bad. Uh, are you in a sorority? And Shinra's like, no, I'm actually male and I live with my boyfriend. Zazpu says, got cuphead on Friday night. I fell asleep on the first boss because I kept on dying and got stressed. Yeah, I've heard uh, cuphead's really hard. I beat the boss on the fourth one now. Sweet. Um... <laughs> um, NNID is Riggy Rob, yes. RIP. And we've got a trophy saying back to work. So if you want to get, um, if you want to add us on Switch. Oh, hey, what? 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 Uh, what? Um, what do you look like? Uh, blonde. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Have you never seen me? 
Who's Rally Fingers? Do you know Rally Fingers? He pitched for the A's. No. Oh. I'm the spitting image of him. Oh wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from from the seventies? <gasps> oh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. Hmm. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. <laughs> wow. She okay, likes that mus well, mustache. That gives me a good start. A good start on what? In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Uh-huh. God, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh... Tuxedos? I try to look nice usually. Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period. Ooh. Yeah, a good 25, 30 years. Schlubby. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Wow. Really get into it here. Hmm. Uh, I've got a thick beard. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? I For don't know. Yeah. Alright. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. Oh, that makes more sense. What? Yeah, that's uh, fine. Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, steely, happy or tired? I'd say steely. They're, uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Hmm, like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. That's all you needed? Get what you need? Absolutely. Huh. Cool. All right. Um. Wait. What? Oh, I thought I thought there was gonna be more stuff to talk about there. Anyway, yeah. So uh, Zazapu says she has a deep fetish for mustached men. <laughs> um. Candy Lover says Matt Pat is really good at a cuphead. He makes it look easy. If you guys want to add us on a switch, you can add us by typing in exclamation mark switch there. Uh. Just another thing. Uh, a couple other things. I'm probably going to wrap up the stream here, guys, because it is 8 o'clock at UK, and uh, we've just completed the second day of Firewatch. This is actually a lot of fun. I, I'm, I'm giving big props to Campo Santo for Delilah and Henry. They're, they're really fun to listen to. Uh, we've got a couple of other polls you guys can participate in. So if you type in exclamation mark P-O-L-L, you get to see whether we should become a Twitch affiliate or not. And at the moment, it's kind of even. I think we've got more votes on being on Twitch, but only just, only like a couple or so. Uh, we've got another poll for SNES games on the SNES, Minic, SNES Classic Mini, uh, which would be help if I spelt it correctly. Uh, uh, Remus says, finish the game. No, I can't finish the game. This is longer than two hours, Remus. I can't finish the game tonight. So we'll finish it another time. Um, so, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can follow us on Twitch or subscribe to us on YouTube to know when we go live. We've got regular streams on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So this was a Monday stream. We do often do unscheduled streams as well. So if you guys want to um, keep up to date with everything we do, then you know subscribing or following us on Twitch are probably the best way to do it. We're almost at 350 subscribers on YouTube, which is really nice. We also have a Twitter. You can follow us at Rob. And we have a Discord channel as well, and we talk about all sorts of random things, as I'm sure Remus and Reaper and Tarkus will tell you. Um, so yeah, feel free to join. The invite should be in the Twitch info page or the YouTube description of the stream. Um, so there's a couple of ways to let us know. Or you could just ask for an invite. I mean, it's, you know, there's plenty of ways to get involved. Um, so yeah, I'm going <laughs> to... No, don't end the stream. I'm ending it here, guys, um, just because, you know, it's 8 o'clock and Pimsy should be back fairly soon and, you know, got other things to do. I need to have dinner, actually. I haven't eaten anything tonight yet. I've got a bit of a headache, but hey-ho, I can have something now. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.
Thank you.